Hello, it's Coralio Organizers. This is Ben. I'm going to go over how to add a live streaming widget to any of your live streaming that you're doing uh, whenever you're running a tournament. Uh, really cool new ones that we've added. Um, some of them will even do score magic for you or even update your logos. Um, if you have a pro account, you do get uh, sponsor logos and we will even rotate those on some of your live streams, depending on if you uh, choose uh, the border widget. So I'm on docs.scoreholio.com. That's always a great place to go to learn everything. On the left-hand side, you'll see live streaming, and there's actually a walkthrough on everything we're going to do today. The first thing you're going to want to do is get some uh, OBS software. I use OBS uh, Broadcaster. It's free, um, and you just download it and use it. You'll see that on my right-hand side. And as we go along, you'll see uh, how to do everything. So um, first things first, I made a tournament and it's called Singles uh, Widget Submit Test. And I'm going to go to the admin here. Um, and as long as you're into the tournament admin on the right here, you can select which court that you want to do. Now I have court 85 just because I made it court 85, but you can name any of your courts in the manage court section, you know, whatever numbers that you need. Um, but for this one, it's just court 85. So if I uh, click on this display button, so this button is actually going to be on your round robin tab and your bracket tab. So there it is on the bracket tab, um, as well as the round robin tab. We do. Um, so if you go ahead and click on this display button, here there's a one that says stream widget and using this drop down here you'll be able to select which stream widget you would like here's that full background one right here or you have a uh, basic scoring ones or score magic if you guys are using score magic when you click on them the link will go ahead and change and you're going to use this copy link button to be able to copy your url over here on obs once you get uh into it you're going to be able to add your sources to or your, your scenes down here. So depending on what scene you want, you can have it down here and you'll see that my sources pop up here for the different ones that I have. So if I want to go ahead and add a scene to this new one, I can click add. And the one I'm going to do is a browser right here. And I'm going to type in, um, you know, new widget whatever you want to call it. That way you can remember what it is and it'll pop up. And the first thing you can add is your URL right here. So if I go ahead and add in my URL. Now, if we look at our, uh, at our, our tutorial here, right at the top, it tells you this widget size should be 1920 by 1080, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put in 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to hit OK. And you'll notice that it's going to pop up my widget. So these are the widgets that you get to choose from. We have a basic scoring and a uh, score magic one that has the player stats on the top. This is the stacked version. This is our old school one that we've had for a long time. Um, and then we have two horizontal ones that one horizontal will give you your score magic at the bottom that gives you all your stats. Um, and then the full border that has all the stats up here. It will put your club logo here as well as rotate your sponsor uh, ads here. Now, in order to go ahead and live feed, uh, live stream to Facebook, you would go to the uh, URL facebook.com slash live slash create. And when you do, it will come over to this screen. Um, over here on the left, you can pick which uh, timeline you want to do. Let's say I want to go ahead and post into a group. Um, and the group that I want to post into is, let's say... Da, 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 Los Angeles Cornhole, which is one of my uh, groups that I have. And I want to hit go live here. And I'm, so I'm going to select that. You're going to notice that it's going to pull up any second now a um, stream code that I can then use to start live streaming on Facebook. If I click here on streaming software, there's my stream key and I can copy that. If I go up here to the top and go to uh, settings in my OBS, um, and then I go to stream, that's where I would put my stream key to be able to go ahead and live stream. Now, if you want to go ahead and get, um, you know, uh, um, videos in here, you would also add a new source. And your new source, you could always make um, a, <laughs> I don't know why I can't find it. It's a video capture device. And let's say this is my um, camera on computer and I go ahead and said okay I can then pick my camera here here I am um, and I'm going to go ahead and hit okay and I can resize this and then you can always make this the second one and so that way it's behind here and inside of our square 
that we have made um, with our border. So that's how you can go ahead and get your uh, squares in here. So that way you get, you know, you could mess with it a little bit, make sure that they're centered. And when people are playing, everything would update. So if I go back over to my singles uh, tournament here, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to court 85, and I'm gonna bring up the scoreboard. You'll see this game's already going, but if I go ahead and let's say that, you know, Sam scores uh, 10 and I score seven, and I update it, you'll see on the right that it's gonna automatically update mine. And if I wanted to start streaming, I would click this start streaming and it would start streaming right there onto the Facebook account. Um, but that's it. So you just can either, you know, put this on the bottom of your feed. You can use the entire border and put two cameras up that are Bluetooth cameras that have your feeds in here and uh, go ahead and make your sources here. And if you want to do fun commercials or something, you can make a bunch of different scenes, but that's pretty much it. It's really easy peasy and uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks a lot.